Hello and welcome to the 67th tutorial in the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at the preprocessor conditional directives and these allow you to include or omit a piece of code from your application they are similar to if statements but unlike if statements they are not run at runtime but before so if a piece of code is omitted it cannot be included this can be useful when developing for multiple platforms and you may have platform specific features so you may have a little quick check saying is this a windows phone is this an apple phone is this a android device and perhaps you have some sort of game sent i mean some sort of multiplayer features or some sort of in-app purchases features where they work fine if you just do for iOS or Windows Phone or Android, but each one of them have have their own system. Then you could do some sort of uh, preprocessor conditional directive because the other piece of code isn't needed at all. Whereas a regular if statement, it uh, it suggests uh, in a way that that code could be needed within the application. Generally, will because you could go for if or else during runtime. But let's just show you how to implement a conditional directive. It's an extension of what we did in the previous tutorial, which is hash defines. We also did hash undefined, but we're not going to be covering that in this tutorial. So we're just going to quickly define the keyword yes. We're not going to assign a value to it, we don't need a value. And what we're going to do in here is actually we're just going to remove this for a moment. And the syntax for a conditional directive is the equivalent to the if part, the if statement is hash, if defined, and then well, the actual name of the definition. So I'm going to put yes, and then we're also going to put an else, and the syntax for that is hash else, and the syntax for ending the conditional directive is hash end if because this is essentially you can think of it as the end curly brace on a if statement and then in here we can do something we're going to put std c out we we'll put yes actually now I'm going to show you a novel something else so we can illustrate the point per int x and now if I were to do i equals zero and run it, we get bill succeeded. The reason we get bill succeeded because we have yes hash defined and then checks here is yes defined, then it creates the variable i. But if we were to do x equals zero and run it, we get build fail because use of an undeclared identifier is not declared at all. But if we were to just switch this to a no and run it. We get i isn't declared because you went here, is yes defined? No, it wasn't in this instance. Then it bumped down to the else conditional directive. So for now, we are just going to comment this out. And what we're also going to do, we're going to show you the hash if not defined. So if end f, and then here we can just put well the keyword, put yes. And if this isn't defined, we are going to define the keyword hello and if and then what we're going to do is if keyword hello is defined what we're going to do is just simply do a print out saying hello now we just need to end this the so hash and if now if we run this we get the keyword hello because it goes to here if yes defined we actually check if yes isn't defined, then it defines the keyword hello. Then here it checks is the keyword hello defined, which it is. Then it prints out this line that says hello. If we change this to yes and run it, we get nothing printed out because it goes to here, says is or isn't yes defined, and then it comes up as yes it is defined, so it skips over this. Then it goes to here, is hello defined? Yeah, I mean, no it isn't, so it skips over this Twitter code and it just ends the application. That's it for pre processor conditional directive. If you have any more questions or if you have any questions in general, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. Email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code would also be in the description. In the next part of the series, we're going to be looking at the pre processor pre-processor line directive and as usual thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.